Well, one thing is for sure, if I had a talking Christian computer, it would make doing research for the religious episodes of the Cinema Snob a lot easier. Oh boy, this one takes me back. Colby the Christian Robot originates back to 1984, the brainchild of creators Peter and Haneke Jacobs, with the debut album Introducing Colby Make a Joyful Noise. It was the story of how Professor Davidson built a talking computer, only it malfunctioned, but is now equipped with the electricity of the Lord and became friends with the neighborhood kids who saved him from destruction. It's that crossover of short circuit and veggie tales that someone wanted. No joke, but not only did they used to play as this album when I was in grade school, but they also put on a play based on the album. Watching my classmate dressed in this cardboard box looking like Awesomeo the Robot and with roller skates made me wish I was doing this show back then. Naturally, a TV series was made on the Trinity Broadcasting Network called Colby's Clubhouse, which ran from 1984 to 2000, but there was also a 1989 direct-to-video series called Colby's Place, which is what we're watching today, and it appears to be about what happens when Colby sneaks into the max after hours. I probably didn't have to tell you this was 1989, it just kind of speaks for itself. Though one thing I didn't expect was for it to open like a feminine hygiene ad. Colby! Don't want to know where this conversation's going. I hope he's not an Old Testament robot. Have you ever thought about doing something your friends wanted you to do, but you really didn't want to do it? Someone is trying to convince you to watch Colby the Christian Computer, aren't they? She's concerned because she has a group of friends who want her to not be friends with another group of friends. You mean, kids sometimes tell you who you should be friends with? Why would they care about something like that? Whew, if this is causing Colby confusion, thank God Twitter wasn't around back then. Colby would spend five minutes on there and then go jump into a tub of water. Colby has all the answers, but not really. God has the answer to all our problems. Have you asked him about this? I'm talking to a computer with AI. Why can't you give me a straight answer? A magic eight ball is more helpful than you. Oh, wait, this is her group of friends? Uh -huh. I think I agree. She shouldn't be friends with them. They have a disease called lame. Colby is programmed with a lot of things, like never letting the kids win. Oh my god, they're multiplying. This is a terrifying science fiction fable. And Tony Basil laughs at your attempts at making a pyramid. And could I for once watch something from the late 80s, early 90s that isn't trying to sell me a skateboard? I think Colby needs to be concerned that his soda shop is running very low on customers. He's gonna get shut down. I bet these kids have all kinds of fun together. We haven't had a day like this since Curtis tripped and fell in the wet cement and nearly hardened into a statue and all those pigeons... <laughs> that kid almost died. You're a terrible babysitter, Colby. As they clean up Colby's litter, maybe they shouldn't have taken him outside. <laughs> because he now has a virus. Apparently he got hit by a wave when they were digging in the sand. Guess it would have been too expensive to show that part of it. Right now Wood Rocket is trying to figure out a way to incorporate this costume into a porno. At least then the dialogue would be better. Yo, Ryan! Curtis, my man, how is school? Hungry! How could school be hungry? Sup with the whack PlayStation song. <laughs> Curtis is getting bullied at school, and the audience isn't sure if they should laugh. Was it Tony Ratso again? Yeah, but he was an orphan as a child, and raised by wolves, you see. And then... <laughs> That's an audience that thought they were going to be at a taping of Perfect Strangers. It's cool, though. Colby makes them all milkshakes. He controls everything until a disgruntled employee programs him for evil. He has the Child's Play remake powers. He's just not very good at it. You can stop the milkshake machine now, Colby. Or you could do it yourself, lazy ass. What Colby lacks in making milkshakes, he makes up for in jokes. You can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. <laughs> He's equipped with a whole library of jokes from Rocky V. 
And advice that's totally not advice. Oh no! I've got to learn to concentrate on more than one thing at a time! You're a computer. You should be able to concentrate on more than one thing. Even actual computers back then could do that. Oof, Lords of Dogtown took a lot of liberties from the original documentary. The wheels are worn out, the board is thrashed, how can it be seen at school with this old thing? Listen, I know you're bummed, but is that something to get so uptight about? This group makes the Buttercream Gang look like boys in the hood. Only real world problems for this group. All the kids at school have new boards, and I'm stuck with that one from the Stone Age. It's not really that old. He needs a new skateboard, only it costs $200. Time to sell that ass, Colby. But really, this is all about peer pressure. He doesn't need that board. Man, that's one hot board. How much does it cost? Settle down. Colby, what BJ's trying to say is that unless you accept the current sociological mandates, other people won't accept you into their peer groups. Right, this looks like the kind of group that wouldn't dress in modern fashions. Now can you at least help the kid with the skateboard problem, Colby? You don't have to work at trying to please other people. The important thing is pleasing the Lord. And I think I have just the scripture verse for you. Great idea. I can definitely get $200 from an AI machine that prints scripture. Colossians 3.23 Whatever you do, do it with all your heart. Unto the Lord and not unto men. I forgot that after that verse, the Colossians immediately broke out into a dance number. I'm getting some serious high tops flashbacks from this. Which one of them is going to OD on drugs? God, at this point, I just want McGruff to show up to plant drugs on them. And thus, Colby thought they were all having a seizure and stuck socks in their mouths. These creepy smiles are telling me that it may be the kids who are robots. Huh, well, glad that song is over with. When I do all the things God oh, I guess we're still going. Someone's dad owns the soda shop and really wanted her own solo. They have mastered the forbidden dance known as the Egg Cream. Hey! That song gave me a great idea! It's three days later. We've moved on to other lame shit by now. And what does any of this have to do with Colby's Oceanside chat earlier? They need to get a real computer in here to fix some of these awkward transitions. You guys, I think he's missing the point. I know you're all wondering what I'm doing in this phone booth. We know you're looking up porn on yourself, Colby. Or calling in more weird transitions. This is Colby. It's probably for the best that we didn't see Colby's lewd phone calls to the kids' parents. The gang is working on a surprise to help BJ with his peer pressure issues when they're not busy working on songs. It's a thing to do from your head to your toes. You got to follow the rule. No, no, no. Just pick something. It's gonna suck regardless. Cool. Cool. From your head to your toes, you got to be cool. Yeah, that works. See? BJ is worried what people will think of him without a cool skateboard. This is just like Noah, apparently. It's been that way forever, even in the olden days. Like in the Bible? Yeah, think about Noah. Hey, that gives me an idea. <laughs> yeah, let's flood the kid's house. Meanwhile, on the Slow Newsday channel, I can't believe they got Noah himself to appear. I was just going down the street when all of a sudden I heard this voice come booming out of the sky. When you want to dress like Noah, but you watch too many tapes of the Iron Sheik instead. The point here is that Noah didn't give in to peer pressure and built the Ark anyway. A mass extinction event is just like BJ wanting that skateboard. But they do have an opposing view here. I don't care if, if Bill Cosby's coming to town. There should be a law saying you've got to live like the rest of us. Oh, I think you should definitely care if Bill Cosby's coming to town. I'm praying for a miracle that another show comes in and completely takes over. Oh, thank God you're here! You can't do that on television! BJ does have a potential buyer for his old skateboard. <laughs> what? Professional skateboarder Andre Walton? Still looks the same to me! Well, you know, looks aren't important. There's only one thing that's important. 
that you do everything for the Lord and not for men. I didn't ask, do you want the skateboard or not? And please don't answer me through song. Hey, do you have a song that goes along with skateboarding? My pleasure. No, no, no. Someone please shove a handful of mashed potatoes into Colby's tape player, stat. Guess we gotta fill up some more time. Those tricks are even more impressive with the video effects put in. Don't worry, it gets worse. I don't know what the creators of Colby look like, but I'm guessing it's this. The message here is really confusing. So if I gotta keep up to be cool, then I should definitely get that new skateboard. And hang up the phone. This musical number is costing us $2.99 a minute. Why all this lame music when there's a perfectly good jukebox right there? Play some Bananarama for the love of God. Colby is friends with everyone who is available to cameo. I know you. You're Andre Walton. World Skateboard Champion! Yeah, I tried playing him on Tony Hawk Underground. The character wouldn't stop dancing and giving me advice. Guess this shitty old board will be fine. You know, you might not believe this, BJ, but I have a skateboard just like this one that I use all the time. Wow, that changes everything! I don't need to buy a new board! Right? Lesson learned! Someone popular uses it, so I like it now! You're still trying to impress others by who you know, you're still skating for others, and you're not doing it for the Lord. Yeah, but... I'm not religious. I'm only here because this is the only place that serves Pepsi AM. Who do I blame for all of this? You do everything for the Lord. You mow the lawn for the Lord, wash dishes for the Lord, sing for the Lord, and write songs for the Lord. God doesn't want you putting the blame on him for any of these songs. And you should mow the grass because your house would look really white trashy if you didn't. Let's get this over with. Andre has to cut the ribbon at a JC Penny at noon. And go ahead and swing your arms and do a 360. Go ahead. Yeah, all right, all right. They had to freeze frame due to the severe neck injuries that immediately followed, causing Colby to fall into a tub of ice and become reprogrammed as a Satanist. Don't know why you needed a skateboard to impress people. You're friends with a talking computer who admittedly does nothing. A speak and spell is more equipped to give advice than Colby the computer. Not to mention that Curtis's bullying problem is way more important than this skateboarding plot. Colby's place makes high tops look like rent, and absolutely none of it makes me want to dance. Not for the Lord or anybody else for that matter. I wanna be in the band, I need to be in the band, I gotta be in the band, mister. I gotta need to be, I gotta dream to be.